Alright, welcome back to my new video for today and yep, I'm Oliver and yeah, I'll be showing you guys what I've actually bought in my previous video where I actually went to Marina Bay Sands to um, get some stuff, okay, mainly to see stuff but uh, there were impromptu purchases as well. So yeah, I became extra broke after that uh, shopping trip. So yes, I'm going to bring you guys over somewhere now. I mean, to sit you guys somewhere now so that we can um, film the unboxing video. So yeah, let's head over to the other side of the room where I yeah sit you guys somewhere. Good, I hope. Okay. Yeah, just give me a moment. Okay, yeah, so I decided that here will be a good spot because um, the items that I would like to show you guys are just right here. And yeah, uh, don't mind the mess as you can see in my cupboard. Yeah, all my stuff are like overflowing and whatnot. So yeah, let's ignore that. And, yep, let's start uh, to unbox and check out the stuff that I got um, recently. So I guess the first item is in this dust bag from Balenciaga. So it's actually a cap and the reason why I decided to get from Balenciaga is because I mean their caps are pretty basic and simple which are you know just a plain black plain white with the wording the branded logo but uh, the reason why I wanted this particular cap that was sold out uh, in Singapore and I had to get it online and yeah basically a lot of retailers um, were also out of stock okay from with this cap and I guess it's pretty cool because if you can see there's all this distress um, intended distress and yeah you can see like the fading it's like a bit like an acid wash kind of details and like fraying at the cap brim so it's really handy when I want for days like I want to go casual and you know not wear or like um, not style my hair yeah so for days when I'm very lazy I would just throw on a cap like this that I think is pretty cool it looks like some kind of mechanics cap because of it. it's a little bit greenish as well like kind of like moldy so I guess I'm really into um, such uh, dirty looking distressed clothes so yeah, here's the first cop and I'll probably insert a clip on how uh, this hat looks like up close because I don't think you can see the details and yeah, the second piece is from uh, COS course so if you guys saw, so this I bought from the previous video and yeah, it came in a dust bag as well yep and yeah, if you guys are hearing some noises, it's because my cat is just right here. Yeah, his name is Ash, a very cute boy. Yep. So, okay, let's go back to where we were. So, yep, it's actually the cardigan that um, you guys saw the other day. So actually Cos was having like a 50% sale that I think is pretty good because the original price of this um, cardigan Okay, just let me show you first So if you guys can see, I'll probably like style it again to show you how it's worn So it's actually this um, kind of like a crochet uh, khaki colored um, cardigan but as you can see there's like blue threads in it as well so I thought that was pretty cool uh, quite a pretty cool detail and quite a cute cardigan to just throw on whenever you know you go for days it's a little bit cold when it's raining and whatnot yep so the original price was actually uh, $150 but there was so I told you there was a sale and almost everything was on 50% so we yep, only got this at 75 bucks which I think is a pretty good deal considering it's from Kos and their stuff is usually quite pricey and 
uh, if you guys saw that I actually also tried on this uh, vest, this crochet vest with like orange color and blue threads in it, which I thought was pretty cute as well. But um, I didn't get it because I feel that um, in Singapore's climate where it's, it can get really really hot, um, I don't think I will get a lot of use out of it because I'll probably wear it a few times, like one or two times for pictures and whatnot and then not wear it again because it's very thick and I have to wear like a long sleeve uh, shirt or sweater over, like under it so it's hot plus hot yeah so I don't think I will wear it a lot and yep another cat decided to disturb me and she's extremely fat yep she's Marilyn Okay, yeah, so going back to where I was, so yeah, I didn't, I decided not to get it, and yeah, so this is what, the two pieces that I got first, before I move on to share with you the last piece. So for the last piece, it's actually in this extremely big uh, paper bag from Dior. So if you guys watched my vlog, I actually tried out um, quite a few items from there. And yeah, they gave me a small paper bag as well. So because the socks I wore was actually too thick, so that kind of affected my shoe size. So they actually gave me a pair of socks to wear. And yeah, give me this paper bag to put my uh, socks that I wore there inside. So that was really nice of them. And yeah, the actual thing is in this box, as you can see. So it's actually, if you guys can guess, it's probably it's going, it's a shoe, or it's a, rather it's a pair of shoes. And yeah, let me see what else is there. Okay. Yeah, so there's the receipt that they gave that comes in this um, folder as well. Yep. And yep, they gave me some stickers as well, <laughs> like Dior worded sticker as you can see on the paper bag because when they passed this or when they packaged this for me it was and the stickers couldn't hold the bag together it kept it kept opening on so they gave me extra as well so let's move this bag away and yep another last thing that they gave me as well was a book a Dior book which is very nice of them because it inside have all the kind of the runway the fall winter 21 collection from as in they collaborated with an artist called uh, Peter Peter Duke I think yep so there's all the looks and like the explanations and whatnot in this book so I think it will make a really nice coffee table book so anyway let's get to the unboxing so I'm just going to you know show you guys what it is okay so let's quickly unbox this so okay it comes in two dust bags and yeah it's the dust bags are looking pretty cool with this kind of sewed on slash rubber um your wording and yeah i probably am not able to open the dust bags with one hand so i'm just going to do it first and show you guys in a bit Okay, so I've actually opened the dust bags already and I guess what's in this box is the probably the care booklet or the authenticity uh, card or something. So yeah, let's not waste time. Okay, so yeah, these are the shoes or rather the loafers that I got from Dior which oh my god but it's like wow really beautiful <laughs> so yeah it's actually the it's called the Dior Explorer um loafer so if you can see the details it's like this this Dior word uh engraved behind and what's cool about this loafer is that it has a rubber sole so as you can see it's slightly chunky but it's not a very chunky loafer slightly and yep, it's good that it is rubberized so that, um, you know, for days when it's rainy, I do not need to worry about stepping on the floor because by convention, most leather loafers, they have a leather sole as well, which 
to me doesn't make sense because if I'm going to walk on the streets and it's raining, my leather soles are going to get wet and the leather is going to get all gross. So yeah, I decided to get this pair which has the silver Dior uh, lettering inside as well. So as you can see, the stitching is really nice from Italy. Yep, and the metal hardware as well is really cool. So it says CD, which is Christian Dior. And yeah, I will tend to I intend to wear this for like um, with formal trousers if I have any events, formal events to go to, or even for like casual looks as well. You can just pair this with like a baggy jean and a, a little bit oversized shirt or jacket. I think it will look quite it will look pretty cool as well. So yeah, these are definitely pretty pricey um, and I really didn't want to get them but it was the last pair in or last pair in my size in Singapore as it's pretty limited so yeah I had no choice but to get them so yeah I'm going to drink water for the next few months but yeah I guess it's worth it and yeah really really beautiful shoes and loafers from Dior so I just realized I actually forgot to film a ending for this video and anyway I have one more item to show you guys as well so I'm just going to sit um, sit down and let you guys see so it's actually in this um, box from Dior so it was actually a gift when we bought the Dior perfume so as you can see there's the CD logo on the top and it says Dior Savage here as well. If you can see, it's very faint. So yeah, that's what the last item I want to show you guys. And I have also included the links to the items that I bought or showed you guys just now in the description box. And I'll include prices as well in case you guys want to find it helpful uh, if you're interested in it. And at the same time, I'm also linking the video to my previous vlog. Uh, shopping vlog at MBS where I got all these items um, in case you guys are interested to watch it as well and yeah for convenience sake so thank you very much and I'll see you next time bye